In this lesson, we are going to learn how to debug a sample Python application in Docker and we are going to use Docker file. So I have this sample Python debugging project and here I have sample Docker file. As you can see, this is a standard Docker file configuration where we are using Python 3.8 Alpine. We are creating one app directory and there we are deploying the code and in the last command right we are mentioning that debug in docker demo 1.py this file should be run when we deploy this to docker so ideally if i use docker file this particular code should run now this project has requirements which i have not installed because i am going to deploy this in docker and this particular files also does not need any particular third party library as such so we are going to deploy this and debug this in docker now in order to use docker the first requirement is your docker should be up and running in my case in windows i am running this docker desktop ideally your docker desktop should be up and running and your internet connection should be enabled because there are certain files that needs to be transferred from the internet to the docker so that is why a good internet connection is important otherwise the required libraries or files won't be downloaded and if the internet connection is very slow the entire thing would be pretty time consuming anyways let me come back to pycharm and let's see what are the necessary steps so the first thing that we need to check is by going to file settings under build execution deployment you select docker here if you don't have anything click on plus the docker should come and here the connection successful this message should come in this case i am using docker for windows so this is selected by default click on apply then ok this project does not have any interpreter configured so let me do one thing go to file settings go to project python debugging expand this select python interpreter here click on this particular gear icon to all we don't have anything in case you have you can delete those just to avoid any confusion again click here add now we are using docker file so i would select this option docker here the image name i would mention python colon latest rest you keep as it is let me click OK. OK again. So right now PyCharm is doing multiple things. It's reloading the generated skeletons and etc. And it will take few minutes, maybe 4-5 minutes depending on your internet connection and machine configuration. I'm going to pause the video. Once this scanning and skeleton generation etc is done, we will resume the video. Now once PyCharm completes its process, you need to click to services and there this docker icon should come and you need to click on connect once it is connected it would provide a nice view of the containers images networks volumes etc available if i click here i can see the containers that are already running the images that are already available network volumes etc so coming back to our application what we have we have a docker file right and this docker file if i deploy it to docker what will happen it would run this application and specifically run this particular file now if i go to this particular piece of code i have two files for demonstration in this one i am printing the demo one counter and printing the counter increasing the counter and giving a slip so every one second it should be printing the counter and it would mention which demo similarly there is another file for debugging docker demo 2 i have just changed the name to demo 2 just to distinguish so first thing that i am going to do is from here i would run this on docker so let's click over here run on docker now it is performing certain steps it is creating the image and ultimately it would be pushing to the docker environment it would take a while once that is complete we will do the next steps now here i can see the docker file has been deployed successfully if you notice this particular section we have three things build log dashboard and then log so the dashboard helps us in controlling the flow or controlling the application state we can stop 
we can restart we can access the terminal also now going to log you can see the code has already started right we have deployed it and the counter is incrementing so the application is running I can stop this maybe the button is not responding let me try again okay the application is stopped so this is one way to run it now using this particular docker file I can run only this particular file right if I want to run other files I have to change the entry over here because I am running via the docker file now instead of running via docker file if I want to debug right I have this file I have this file how to debug this so for this particular file demo 2 let me place a breakpoint over here and do a right click debug now this is running in the docker and as the breakpoint is placed over here so it only printed the line number 7 with the default counter of 0 so the debugging is working right the breakpoint is hit let me resume as you can see the next line got printed let me resume again so here we are able to debug another file now this file is not mentioned in the docker file so with the use of pycharm I am able to debug this in docker so I can stop the debug session here also I can go back to this demo one and similar way I can debug this let me place a breakpoint over here right click debug similarly the first line is printed counter is 0 resume so this way I can resume like the normal way we debug the applications in the local system similarly in docker we can debug this way so here I have printed 0 1 2 let me print some more lines resume resume so this log is showing here from 0 to 4 it is printed I can see the same thing here from services so I have multiple containers if I select any of this two I think one is yes this is the one right which we are running so if I go back to debug and I print two times more five six so go to services if I scroll down see same log we can see here from the container itself so we can restart it we can stop it similar way we can use this icons also so PyCharm provides us very rich features to run Python applications in the docker environment although uh, it's not very stable from different PyCharm versions there are certain features and functionalities they have problems but it gives us a good starting point to debug the Python applications in the docker environment